what are our gender and our identity want. But then you guys believe that you smile on Oh, look at this guy. The girl. <laughs> he, she, it starts a fight. Police is trying to figure out what's going on. Officer, I didn't see anything. I didn't see anything that happened. There's no, there's no reason to be Look at this smug POS. I didn't see anything. Look at that smug smile. She knows she's lying her butt off. Yeah, nothing happened. Nothing happened, officer. I didn't, nothing happened. And I didn't see anything. Look at that look with the. Oh. It's a public place. It's a public place. Make America great again. And she's completely freaking out. We're allowed to film whatever. You know? Support a political candidate. You're not allowed to share hate language in this, the I'm saying make what America great. What is hate language about this. that? What is hate language about that? You don't care. I want to hear. Make America great again means make America all for white people. No immigrants. No people of different no, sexual orientation. His, his wife is an immigrant. His wife is an immigrant. That doesn't mean anything. How is it not? You just anything. said no immigrants. It doesn't mean anything. I could have a brother who's gay and I could not be supportive of gay people. It doesn't mean anything. Really? So why is he say, You just say he doesn't like immigrants. His wife's an immigrant. It's le illegal did? immigrants that he She's doesn't She's a retard. You're not illegal. You're how, not how, what's no, you're, you're not you're delusional. delusional. I asked you, does he not like immigrants? You're like, he doesn't like immigrants. Just because he's married to an immigrant doesn't White mean that his elitist. policies and what he stands for is promoting people of different colors being She's an it's awful. It's illegal immigrants. Adult white female liberal. Awful. That's what she is. She's a white elitist liberal. Keep wearing the hat, man. That's awesome. He doesn't Thanks. hate anyone. Yeah, no, illegal no. immigrants. Dude, like... Level with you, but like you've got to take the hat off, or I'm gonna write the president of the university, and he's gonna come and talk to you because I already talked to him about this. It's not allowed, it's hate language on campus. You can do with me, or you it's can do not with hate language. I'll deal with the guy. To the person, and I've already talked to him about this. You can laugh, it's so gonna happen, and I can't wait for it's him so to gonna happen. He's wearing a hat, he's he wants to wear. What is wrong with the hat? I'm not what allowed to wear a shirt. I'm not allowed to wear a shirt. Yeah, no, yo, let's go. This is ridiculous. Okay, You're you all this is just now, and you can. Huh? Make America great again. It's a hat. He's wearing a hat. It's Trump doesn't hate it's immigrants. So much more. It's so and how much is it so much more? You don't know anything about Trump. You don't know anything. You don't know one little thing. Okay. Please. Keep wearing the hat, man. Keep wearing the hat. Is that, what you want? that is insane. This is all on camera. Yo, keep wearing that These hat. People are absolutely this girl is delusional. Just, oh, supporting the hat. Dude, so if you want me to come off. talk to David, no, he's not taking it off. No, he's not taking it off. Why does he take it off? Do me because a favor, please. Well, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Just please. Oh, that guy took the hat. Oh, he took the hat. Yo, give him the hat back. Oh, I would go after him right now. You can't be doing that kind of crap. You can't be taking someone's stuff. Things of that nature that we don't necessarily believe in. We believe in freedom of thought, and we believe that you should be able to voice your opinion without being shut down by the other side, like we've seen at campuses. My family has not amassed enough wealth since they came out of chattel slavery. Chattel People slavery? Pay for my education, so I go into debt, and I graduate with a huge amount of debt. When my like everybody else. Um, wait, oh, the I white counterparts, you don't know what the hell you're talking about, girly. Like, that's what I got to deal with going to class as a yes. black female at the University of Kansas. I got to deal with walking by a white man, cutting up safe space stickers. <laughs> right there, safe space, space stickers. So regardless if you guys think that freedom of speech allows you to spew hatred, it isn't allowed. What There's the hell are you talking about, lady? Up, Title IX is probably pretty key for y'all to look up. Yeah. My pronouns are they. They. So from, from now on, when you refer to them, you use they, them, there, because we've shown you the respect to refer to you by your name. So I wouldn't be doing on, that. Them as they, because Why? Because that is the appropriate thing to do. When no, you it are is not. The age of We're not delusional. Hey, and you can stand there and smirk. We can take it from you. That's what y'all fail to realize. People of color, marginalized identities, 
We can say you go, things. girl. That yeah, come on. Put down the victimhood you're mentality, lady. Yeah. You say freedom of speech. What is the rest of the letter? Not opinion. What is the rest of the letter? Okay, you know. White fragility. That's what I mean. White fragility. The defense of that. When you are attacked about your privilege, and I'll even say attacked. Oh, there's a privilege word. Like I said, white fragility. Look at the phone. These guys come up with all the stupid words. There you, there you go, yeah. Beat the drums, girlie. Beat the drums. My intellectual sense is the idea that you can't retreat from I'm not retreating. I'm making myself safe and comfortable. That's what are you doing as a white person who has the privilege to walk into a classroom and be automatically respected because you were born with a dick? So were you. We deserve benefits because you enslaved us for 400 years. It's called accommodation for the disenfranchised. Your ancestors and you still... The reparations card was just thrown on the table, folks. The genocide of Native Americans do not call immigrants slavery. People are not illegal. They are illegal. They're not undocumented. They're undocumented and they're illegal. Gender term. Oh, there's a well, microaggression. And, and the M word was just dropped. Don't talk to me like that. Don't talk to me like that. Ooh, don't talk to me like that, girl. Yeah. Ooh, them's fighting. Yes, as long as you know my It's not, let me get this clear real quick before I leave. It's not a disagreement of whether you're a white supremacist or not. If you believe in this snowflake bullshit, if you believe that there should not be safe spaces on this campus, if you believe that there is not institutional racism on this campus, that there is you not go. recognizing your white privilege. White the privilege, privilege that you have to walk on this campus, to walk into any store, well, to do anything. To <laughs> I have the same privilege? You're gonna fucking tell me I have the same privilege. Yes, Just when you, you do. walk from fucking the union anywhere, did you get stopped by anyone? No one cat called you. No one said, well, show me that you're a real woman. Well, then don't wear a dress then, huh? Yes, Rather you talk to a person of color. Do what? We're not gonna talk to media. We ask them to talk to people of color. People of color? Okay. So, oh, they're not talking to white, white media. People are telling journalists to go speak to people of color because they have no rights to speak here. Apparently, <laughs> Jesus, this is a, this is the kind of world we live in right now. <laughs> Unbelievable. Why are you carrying the Chinese flag? Because I'm a Maoist. Why are you a Maoist? Like, she's why, an why, idiot. why does this organization, uh, this Occupy Wall Street, appeal to you? <laughs> it appeals to me because I got screwed over by the capitalist system myself. I lost my job last year because I wanted to transition from male to female with my gender identity. But how did the capitalist system make you lose your job? You have you have a boss that doesn't believe I'm a human being. Uh, I don't, it, China. How, how would like how would they treat you in China? Yeah, how would they treat you that? in China? Uh, if the party stayed true and didn't become revisionist, they would treat me like a human being. So like the Stalinists and those people that killed millions of people. So you support that that policy? You don't have you don't have the uh, figures to back up. You know, it's all lies. It's all delusions. It's all false. Is what this guy is trying to tell you? The guy with the Chinese flag. What an idiot. Hi. Hello. Okay. Um, my name is Tanae. I'm the current president of our NAACP chapter. Great. And so I just have a few questions. During your entire presentation, I noticed that you failed to mention that feminism is the belief that men and women are equal. So do you not think this? And then also, I noticed when you were talking about America's values and about how great America is. It's you very great. You failed to mention that our nation was built on the power of white men without the acknowledgement of black people, the Indians, women at least. So do you not think that men and women are equal? Do you not acknowledge the problems that we have here in America that does, in fact, not make America great? It makes Amer oh, America right. so um, great. No, 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 honey. Let's be let's I mean, let's be not triggered. I understand no, 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 how to no, no, handle no. myself, a, unlike some Trump guys, supporters. Guys, 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 it was, so. a, it was a perfectly reasonable, respectful question. Let's be respectful. Thank you. Um, on the first half Thank of your you. question, women don't agree with you. 
Uh, Absolutely fewer true. Fewer than one in five women in America describes themselves as a feminist, even mm. though over 85% of them believe in inequality between the sexes. Why? Because they know that feminism has become something different now. They know that the feminism you're talking about, it's very convenient, isn't it, to sort of treat men like shit. And then when people say, I'm not a feminist, say, oh, but feminism's out of quality. That's not what feminism has become. It's not what feminism is anymore. Feminism Toxic is feminism. A vindictive, spiteful, nasty, man hating philosophy. So, that has, very little, well, C -H -Y. Okay. Um, that has very little to do with the equality of the sexes and a lot to do with man hating. And the way that you know that is women are abandoning it in their millions. Women don't want feminism anymore. They have rejected your version completely. Completely. They don't agree with you. In the UK, the numbers are even worse. Just 7% of women in the UK describe themselves as feminist, despite That's the fact that 92% of women, in, uh, of women in, in the UK believe in equality of the sexes. It's very clear what's happening. They don't believe that those two things mean the same, because if they did, they'd give the pollsters the same answer to, the, to the, both those questions. Women know that feminists say one thing and do another. Women know that the primary purpose of feminism these days isn't to promote equality. It nope. is to beat down on men. So you've lost Beat the crap you know, you out a of big them. PR problem on your hands. And when you come up and say, you know, well, how dare you not mention that it's actually just about quality of the sexes. Don't you believe in the quality of the sexes? I very clearly said in my speech for, uh, multiple times that I do and that I love women, that I care about them. But, um, you know, this sleight of hand that feminists play when they're perfectly happy to treat men like shit and, and, and spread these conspiracy theories about the patriarchy, these lies about the wage gap, lies about campus rape culture. And Absolutely. And turn around and play the victim and play innocent and say, oh, feminism is just about equality. Give me a break. <laughs> Give me a break. Absolutely. So. As to your, as to your s second part of your question, um, I, I, get some, I get some shit from conservatives for this answer, by the way, but I agree with you. I agree with you that there are structural historical problems in this country. Um, I agree with you that black community has been treated like hell by both Democrats and Republicans. I just don't think Black Lives Matter is the answer. Um, I don't think that throwing your toys out the pram and burning your own cities is the answer. I think better schools would help. And I think if black people really wanted to improve their lot and improve their situation, they would start voting for Republicans. Because when Absolutely. they do, and when people police properly, black lives are saved. Bill Clinton, who signed the crime bill in, which took thousands of black dads out of families and threw them in jail, the terrible, pointless, awful war on, cr war on drugs. Government right? became the daddy um, of black families. Replacing you know, the, the, the black dad with the state, which is what Democrats have systematically tried to do to you guys for generations. So true. And Black Lives Matter's response isn't to say, we're going to try voting for the other guys because 40, 40 years of this hasn't worked. What we want is better schools. So yes. that a poor black child who is smart could go to Harvard. They don't do that. Nope. They cause a fuss. They block a road and they burn their own towns down. So yeah, I agree with you. There's a problem, but I, I think we probably have very, very different prescriptions for that. Milo answered that question absolutely perfectly, especially in terms of when he talked about, you know, feminism, first, second, third, fourth. Which wave of feminism are we on right now? I've sort of lost track. Is it fifth wave, sixth wave? I think you can add all those up together, and basically it is beating the crap, the S-H-I-T, out of men, whatever you want to call it, just throwing them under the bus. And literally, you know, I mean, every single time. And then once you've done that, instead of claiming victor status, no, you go back and women, what do they do these fifth, sixth, seventh, eighth, ninth wave feminists do? Feminazis? as Rush Limbaugh used to call them, what do they do? They claim the victimhood mantle as well. On one side, they want to do everything they can to equal, get equality with men. They want to crush men, and they want to claim the victim itself. And I agree with Milo. Historically, yes, there have certainly been inequities if you go back generations but the fact of the matter is, are you going to actually be able to prove that if generational wealth was given back at the time, would they have squandered it? How do you know whether it was a black man, a white man, a brown man, a Chinese person at that time, an Asian person at that time, that had been given the means? Do you think that they would have been able, what do you think they would have been able to do with that? And then the question becomes is who's going to pay the reparations? Who's going to look and figure it out mathematically 
who gets on. And here's a question. Why should people that just came here last year or 10 years ago or 20 years ago, why should they be responsible for what happened 100 years back? Who's going to talk about the American Indians that fought amongst each other and took lands and recaptured lands and gave up lands and then recaptured them and then enslaved some Indians and then they got themselves got enslaved Then another group of Indians came and enslaved them back and forth? Who's going to, you know? What, what, how long do you want to play this game? It's victim mentality. Obviously, this black girl, okay, she's playing the victim card, throws it down on the deck. And you know what? Just because Milo gave her the answers doesn't mean that she's going to listen to it. No, 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 no. These people will refuse to listen to reason and logic because it's much easier to play that card because you become part of the intersectionality and now you can claim your virtue signaling wokeness at the same time. Anyways, folks, we appreciate you taking the time to watch. You've been watching the Dr. Nasser Shake Show. I've been your host. My name is Dr. Nasser. If you haven't done so already, we'd love you to subscribe to our channel, like, share, and follow. So you all know what to do. Put your comments, share below. Take a look at our other videos above and below. Leave you with my final thought, which is, when you're right, you're right. And when you're left, you're wrong. Until next time, folks, take care and stay safe.